Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about who could see snowfall this November. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Now, I'd also highly recommend that you check out our very, very exciting and useful Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below, where we give you guys daily content for cheaper than the price of a coffee, so I highly recommend you check that out. Now for today's comment of the day, I want to know, do you think we will have any big November snowstorms this year? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Now let's get into this video and first things first, we're taking a look at our snowfall forecast, when to expect your first snowfall, uh, it's from a video months ago, uh, and as you can see this red area is the area that we'll see snow before October, so likely they've seen their snowfall for sure. This pink area is the area that will see snowfall before November. Uh, but let's get into this purple area, and that's the area that we'll see snow before mid-November. So the area that we'll see snowfall between the 1st and 15th of November uh, is usually within this purple region. Uh, and you might notice that already most of these areas have already seen snowfall. So we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule with a lot of this. Uh, but on average, that's the area that has seen snowfall before the 15th of November. Now, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to move on. And we're going to take a look at the area that will generally just see snowfall before December, which is, you know, September, October, and November in just a moment. So that's going to kind of answer a lot of questions, probably. All right, now here's the area that will get snowfall before December, December 1st, which is basically November and any months before uh, and as you can see, again, many of these regions have already seen snowfall, obviously, but not California. Some areas in Nevada haven't. A lot of the southwest generally hasn't, but the northwest, the Rockies, the plains, the Great Lakes, some areas in the Great Lakes have, uh, but we have many more areas to go. So areas like Chicago, northern Indiana, northern Ohio, I guess they've just seen their first snowfall overnight last night, kind of scattered through. Uh, areas in Western Virginia and West Virginia, uh, Western Pennsylvania. I know some of the Southwestern regions have not seen their first snowfall, uh, but New York, New England, they've seen their first snowfall, but we can expect much more of it uh, during the month of November. So I, I do anticipate that that interior Northeastern United States will actually see more snowfall throughout the month of November than we've already seen. Obviously the Rockies is going to get plenty uh, the, the Northern Plains and the Great Lakes, I expect to see quite a bit if we get an active storm track through there, which I am forecasting according to my November forecast. Uh, we can see the Pacific Northwest, the Rockies, uh, and even California, we might see some. We'll take a look at that in a moment because uh, what actually we're going to do at a certain point in this video, the midway point of this video, we're going to take a look at the European Weekly's model and take a look at its total snowfall that it's forecasting throughout the month of November in inches so we can tell you what this model is thinking your area is going to see as far as inches of snow. So be sure to stay tuned for that, of course. Uh, and actually what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our snowfall anomalies forecast for November. We released this to the patrons uh, earlier, uh, just a few days ago. So now we're going to be releasing it to our YouTube channel. So you can check out uh, in just a moment, our snowfall anomalies forecast to see if we're expecting above average or below average snowfall for your area. Now, first things first, here's our below average snowfall area. And you might be wondering, why is South Texas and South Florida in the below average snowfall for November? They don't even get snowfall. Well, for our snowfall anomalies forecasts, we always just use a formula of temperatures and precipitation. And we use that because it oftentimes correlates with the snowfall anomalies. So if you expect above normal temperatures and below normal precipitation, you're in that below normal snowfall. If you expect below normal temperatures and above average precipitation, you're in the above average snowfall. It's that simple. So these areas, we just expect some drier conditions and some warmer conditions, which will translate to, you guessed it, less snow than what is typically expected. And almost none of these areas actually expect snowfall except for California, Nevada, uh, and then areas in Ohio, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and even Virginia and New Jersey as well do anticipate to get some snowfall there. So let's go ahead and move on and take a look at our above average snowfall region. And as you can see for the Northwest, the Rockies, the upper Midwest, the Plains, some of the Great Lakes in our lake effect regions, we're actually dealing with some heavy lake effect snow coming off of Lake Ontario. We posted that to our Instagram story. Uh, you can always check out our Instagram actually in the description. And I think it's on our channel page as well if you click that. Um, I don't really plug that a lot, but I do post pretty frequently to that. 
uh, we're seeing a bunch of lake effect snow, and I expect that's going to be possible throughout the rest of the month as we see some cold blasts come through at points. Uh, that could lead to some lake effect snow chances. So that's why that light blue is there for Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Michigan, areas like that. Overall, we expect a storm track to come through the Pacific Northwest, the Rockies, and then up through the Northern Plains. And that's why they're in the above average snowfall. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to move on and take a look at our moderately above average snowfall in just a moment. Then we're going to get into that modeled snowfall forecast for the entire month of November. Uh, and then we're also going to get into some other factors as well. All right, so here is our above average snowfall or moderately above average snowfall region. And this is just an area where we're even more confident in having above average snowfall. So for areas like Washington, Idaho, Utah, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, portions of New Mexico, and then even through into Nebraska, the Dakotas, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and a little bit of the upper peninsula of Michigan there. Uh, we expect you guys to be moderately above average in your snowfall and also have a higher chance of being above average than those light blue regions. Uh, this is, again, just an area where we're fairly confident there's going to be plenty of cold air for this area pretty frequently. Um, and also a storm track that I think is going to be quite frequent for this region. Those two things put together, again, is really our biggest factor in our formula for where you're going to see above average snowfall or below average snowfall. So this is our total snowfall anomaly forecast for November. By the way, we're going to be making a video like this every single month through the winter time. Uh, so I highly recommend subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to that. So for December, January, February, March, probably April and May as well, uh, we're going to be making a video very similar to this every single month. Let us know what you think about that. If you don't like these videos, let us know. But if you do like them, be sure to hit that like button and let us know so we make more of these moving forward. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to move on and we're going to take a look at that European weekly model, uh, 30, basically 32 day snowfall forecast for, so for the entire month of November, basically. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at how much snow we saw in October. So we're going to take a look back at the past and then we're going to take a look at some of the temperature and precipitation forecasts for the month of November to take a look at some periods of times where snowfall could be more likely in certain areas. All right, so finally, here is that European weekly models snowfall forecast. I'm sure you guys have been looking forward to this throughout the entire video because I've been talking about it the entire video. Uh, and anywhere in the blues, that's where you're expecting um, anything to six inches of snow. The light grays, this is an ensemble model, so it gets very wild with it. I don't think Dallas would expect some snowfall, but this model thinks it could be possible. I also do not think that Richmond, Virginia is going to see any snowfall this November, uh, but this ensemble model does have a couple members that do show snowfall at some point. So if you're in the light grays, take that with a huge grain of salt. It's the blues where it becomes a lot more legitimate. So uh, anywhere in the light blues, I think that's anything to six inches of snow. Uh, in the purples, that's where you're expecting six to 10 inches of snow. If you're in the pinks, notice a lot of those lake effect areas are in the pinks, uh, even the mountainous regions of New England as well, and then the Rockies and uh, some of those mountainous regions along the West Coast. You're expecting 10 to 20 inches of snow. Uh, and then we even see that kind of turquoise or very light, bright gray color for a lot of the Rockies and the Cascade Mountains. That's where we're over 20 inches of snow. That's not a surprise out there, though. They, they anticipate a ton of snowfall like that. Uh, so, yes, we are going to see a lot of snowfall for those western mountainous regions, I believe. And this model definitely thinks so as well. Here's how much snowfall we've seen so far this season. So this is basically since, uh, let's see, this is since September 30th uh, all the way through November 1st. And as you can see, most of our snowfall has occurred in the Cascades and then the Rockies and even the Northern Plains there. Uh, we've seen over 12 inches of snow in a lot of those red regions. New England, remember we had that snowstorm that we were forecasting. They saw plenty of snowfall, actually four to six inches of snow uh, near Boston. They overperformed for sure there. Uh, so yes, we are going to see a lot more on top of this, but I just wanted to show you guys how much snowfall we've seen so far, just to put things in perspective. Now, quickly to close out the video, I'm going to review our November forecast, just to give you guys a reminder of the conditions we're expecting and kind of why we're anticipating certain snowfall anomalies in certain places. Here's our precipitation for forecast first off. And as you can see for the Pacific Northwest into the Northern Plains, the Rockies, and even approaching the Great Lakes, we're expecting above average precipitation. Then for most of the southern United States, including California, that's crucial because they do anticipate to get snowfall in 
uh, November. Uh, they're expecting pretty moderately below average precipitation, which in turn means probably pretty moderately below average snowfall as well. And then the entire East Coast is going to be a little bit more dry than what is typical. Now, for our, or sorry, our temperature forecast, we're expecting below average temperatures for that northwestern corner of the United States with some neutral temperatures there for California. So that's not going to be too much of a factor for you guys. It should be back and forth. Uh, and then for the southwest and through the eastern United States, we're expecting above average temperatures with equal chances set up in between there. Uh, so that could swing either way. If we see a lot of cold air make its way east all the way into like the Great Lakes and stuff, like I'm pretty much saying is possible there with the equal chances it could be colder or warmer. We're going to see a lot more snowfall for those regions. But if we see those warmer temperatures push way further west towards like Kansas, Iowa, Wisconsin, and that be the cutoff line of those above average temperatures, well, we're going to anticipate a lot less snowfall to the east of that. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, because we talked about an upcoming snowfall event yesterday. I asked you guys, how much snowfall do you think we will see maximum from that event? And AM said, the last storm overperformed, so I think this one may as well. I'd say 18 inches plus by Lake Ontario. And looking at what the radar looks like next to Lake Ontario, I, I would say that's definitely possible at this point. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our diamond patrons. Michael Cotalesa, Rosemary Haynes, Alicia Davis, Catbite, Terry Curtis, It's Jay, Madbird, Cindy Klein, Felix Wheatfield, Michael Buell, Mariah Vieira, Kellen Manhart, Noah Harley, and Mark J. Alongside our Platinum patrons, Adam S., Justin Quantrell, Donna Carnes, Alan Belemo, Larry LaPan, Dovey Nagel, James Wade, and Cameron Marshall. If you would like to be on our patron end screen, you can do so by checking out our Patreon page in the description and the pinned comment down below. Matter of fact, I highly recommend you do so, like I said in the beginning of the video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends, family, and social media. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.